What's up you guys and welcome back to It's Layers to Descent. My name is Paris and if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe in the opening because the dry down is going to be amazing. I have a video for you girls. It's not a vain video telling you just go out and buy these perfumes because you're going to catch a man. That's not what this video is. But I am letting you guys know that with these perfumes, I've gotten approached every time. Every time I've worn these, and I, I get approached multiple times. It's not because of looks. It's not because of what I'm wearing. Most of the time, I am dressed down. I don't dress up unless I'm real, like I'm going to a party, I'm going to a special event. And that's just how I am. I'm super, super casual. And a lot of the times I've gotten compliments, I was wearing like a hoodie and sweatpants. So yeah, these scents get you approached no matter what. They at least have gotten me approached and that's what this is about today. All of these fragrances are feminine, sexy, creamy, like I love creamy scents. I love lactonic scents, especially in the summertime. A lot of people go lactonic and creamy for the winter time. You sleep, you sleep. With my skin, it does something. I don't know what it is. I'm going to share them with you guys. I'm gonna start it off with the honorable mention, Giorgio Armani's C. Now this is the original. As you can see, it's back here too on my scent of the day tray. And it's literally, and even this one, look at the, look at the juice. Barely any juice left. But luckily I have another box because I love this scent. But this scent right here is extremely feminine, ultra feminine when you when it's when something is feminine it's sexy to me like just because people say certain scents are feminine they they think like oh it's it's bright it's airy it's not really sexy it's not a nighttime scent or whatever femininity to me is sexy so no matter what during the day to me this still smells sexy and to a lot of other people it still smells sexy because I get a lot of compliments during the day on this and i've gotten approached quite a bit off of this scent the top note is cassis the middle notes are may rose and freesia and the base notes are vanilla patchouli woody notes and ambroxan now smelling it right out the nozzle i get rose and i get patchouli and then i get like a woody note but i can't really tell what it is that's like off the nozzle, but when I spray it onto my skin and it dries down, I get a pretty like vanilla rose and it's like really creamy. It's like a really, really creamy, feminine, sensual scent. And I wear this, I can wear this all day long. I wear this in the daytime. I wear this at nighttime. It really doesn't matter, but this is more my go-to daytime scent. I love this scent. This is the honorable mention, Giorgio Armani C. Now getting right to the business. These next three scents. I don't know where you guys live. I live in Atlanta. So people are a little bit more reluctant to like, tell you you're pretty or you smell good or you look nice or i like your outfit it used to be heavy on that like growing up here a lot of women were not afraid to tell you you look cute you look nice i like your hair i like your nails i like this i like that and a lot of guys would do the same thing you look nice and there'd be nothing behind it like you look nice today and everything like that but now i don't know what happened to the city but people, even if they think you smell good, they might not tell you you smell good. Or even if you, they know you look nice, they might not tell you you look nice. For me, I will tell you, male or female, but I do like to make people feel good. That's just like my personality. 
And in this city, it's so hard to get a compliment. But with these, it makes it so easy. It literally makes it so easy. I've bonded with people over these scents. I've made friends off of these scents. I've made some really good friends off of smelling good. People coming up to you and asking you a simple question, what are you wearing? And I got a story for you guys, it's so funny, but the scent that I'm about to show you now, men love this scent. They absolutely love this perfume. Every time I wear this, I always get complimented by men more than women this one is like all men and i'm not taking pride in that like oh men approaching me and this is what i want no but if that's what you're going for understand this scent is going to do that hypnotic poison by dior it smells so good it's seductive it's sexy it's warm it's sweet i don't care how old this scent or like how long ago this was made this does not get old this is classic this is timeless this is a sexy woman right here you wear this at night, okay? At night. It's very, I would, I'm not saying strong as in like it's too much to take. It's strong as in it's going to like leak off of your skin. When I'm wearing this, this it's like falling out of my pockets. It's like coming out of my purse, it's spilling on the floor. That's what this scent is doing. It smells so good. I want to read you guys the notes so I can like let you guys know why it smells the way it smells. The top notes are coconut, plum, and apricot. The middle notes are Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, and lily of the valley. And then the base notes are vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. I love almond in fragrances. It just, it just does something. I don't know. But off the nozzle, I get coconut. I get the plum. Jasmine for sure. I get a little tuberose. And the almond. When I spray it, and it dries down, I get those base notes, like straight base notes. I get the vanilla, the almond, the sandalwood, and the musk. That is what I get on this. I do like on the first spray, I smell the apricot or apricot, however you want to say it. I do smell that right out the gate as soon as you spray it. But when it dries down, those warmer notes start coming through and the sweetness of the tuberose is not too sweet. Cause I don't like to like scents that are too sweet, like a sponge sugar. Sometimes that's that's fun and it's cute, but oftentimes for me it's too much. It's too sweet. It's too teenage for me. But the two bros does give it a certain sweetness where it balances out that warm, sexy vibe that it gives off. I've gotten approached so many times by men and. It's not always a, like something coming from it, like, can I have your number type of thing. It's more of a, I just had to tell you, you smelled really good type of, type of thing. So this right, I, I can't stop smelling it. It's really, it's so good. I don't care how old it is to you guys. My mother knew about uh, poison. You know what I'm saying? She, she, back then it was like a green bottle that was the poison that she remembers and I'm like, mom, no, this is hypnotic poison, it's different. But when I do wear this, my mom always says, you wearing that one, you wearing that one, yeah. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> so the next scent that I have for you guys is kind of hard to find. 
I've had it for a very long time. I've probably had it since college and a lot of people say, you know, since kind of lose their potency and everything like that after, you know, a certain amount of time, but this just hasn't. And a lot of my scents don't because I keep them well stored. Um, but this is one of my all time favorites. I got insane, insane compliments in college when I wore this. This was my signature scent in college. It stayed on me all day. It's very gorgeous, it's sexy, it's feminine. You can wear it during the day or the night. I had day and night classes where I wore this. I got approached so much. I could barely walk through the front door of the campus like before someone tells me or grabs me and say, yo, what are you wearing? Like you smell really, really, really good. And a lot of times I got compliments and approached by women and they wanted to ask me what I was wearing. This, this is, let's see if you guys can see that. Christina Aguilera's, I believe it's called For Her. I think it's been so long and I don't have the box anymore, but I do believe this is called Christina Aguilera for her. The jasmine in this, I don't know any other notes. Again, because I've had this for a very long time. This is such a pretty, pretty jasmine. I love the scent of jasmine, but this one is different. I don't know what it is. I have a lot of jasmine perfumes. It's one of my favorite notes as far as like florals go. But the jasmine in this was always so gorgeous to me. And it was gorgeous to a lot of different people. It was a lot of people that wanted to sit next to me in class just because they wanted to smell my scent. And they told me that before. Like, I just like sitting next to you because you smell good. And I was always wearing this. This brings me back. It takes me back every single time. I love wearing this scent. Doesn't get old. I still get approached. Look at the, look at the juice. I use my perfumes. I don't just collect perfumes to do videos and whatever. I use my perfumes and I have to get another one. I think these are like 30, 35 just for the perfume, but it's so worth it. I'm gonna read you guys the notes for this because a lot of you might be like unfamiliar with the perfume anyway. Okay, so apparently the name of this perfume is just Christina Aguilera. Cause it, all it says is Christina Aguilera for women. And I doubt that the name of this is called for women. So I believe this is Christina Aguilera. It's just her, you know, her title perfume, her debut perfume. I believe this is the original Christina Aguilera perfume. Like the first one she came out with. But nonetheless, the top notes of this are Jasmine and Blueberry. And then Mandarin in the middle. And in the bottom notes are Peach and Lily of the Valley. That's a different combination. That, that's, really, that's really different. Jasmine and Blueberry. I never noticed the Blueberry. I, I just get this very, very pretty Jasmine. I guess Lily of the Valley. I can kind of smell it because... Armani C has a very similar like n like scent, so I'm guessing it's that note. It's something in this that I've smelled in Armani C, but it's just the jasmine in this does it for me. I don't know about peach. Let me see. Okay, I get a little peach. I do get a little peach, but every time I've smelled this my whole life, I get jasmine. That's what I get, and it's a beautiful jasmine. It is a very, very beautiful jasmine. You will not go wrong with it. If you can find it, and you like jasmine, yes. Yes. I'm telling you, sis, just get it. Just get it. Take my word for it. Just get it. All right, y'all. So for the final perfume, that will get you approached the most that has gotten me complimented the most this is 
the number one perfume I've, I mean, this is top of the top out of all my perfumes where I've turned the most heads, I've gotten the most compliments, and <laughs> I've had people talking apparently about me because of this scent. Now it's not simply just because of this perfume because I layer it and it makes like it's in there with my signature scent. But this scent is definitely the reason why I get approached so much. Men, women, kids, older people, it doesn't matter. I cannot go anywhere without getting at least one compliment, at least one, but it's never just one, but at least one compliment with this scent right here. Disclaimer, I do layer with this and it creates my signature scent. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will share the signature scent. That gets me great. When I say crazy, I'm not saying this for YouTube. I know everybody says this all the time. You get compliments, I get compliments. Some of it I'll be like, cap. You don't get compliments like that on it. This, I really do. I get a lot of compliments all the time, every time I wear this. And I'm talking about Killian's, I'ma just say princess, cause don't nobody have time to say this right here is the definition of the warmest sexy gourmand like on the face of the earth thus far this is i don't get tired of smelling this even though i wear it occasionally frequently that's the right word even though i wear it frequently every time i, I just want to fall into it i literally just want to fall into it this smells it's just sexy it really is it's sexy it's warm sexy it's not like a too much sexy or like that it's a different type of attention grabber, not like a black opium type of attention grabber, sexy. This is different. It's not a standard, your typical smell, your typical sexy gourmand. It's not, it's like nothing else to me smells like this, like nothing and it's such a good layering perfume i can layer this on i want to say 95 percent of any gourmand perfume in my collection i can layer this on any one of them like 95 percent of them this goes so well on top of them oh my gosh it smells so good i'm gonna read you guys the notes i'm not even gonna hold you Okay, you guys, so the notes in this are lemon at the top. The middle notes are green tea, ginger, peach, and this word right here, jasmine and apple. And then the base notes are marshmallow, vanilla, and benzoin. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I didn't get lemon before, but I see it now. Like, I didn't know all the notes in this. All I know is it smells damn good. I do get a hint of lemon, but it's not like a super fresh lemon. It's almost like a, like you put brown sugar on the lemon and then put it in a Ziploc bag and just like put it away for a couple days. And then when you open it, that's the hint that I get in this perfume, like off the nozzle. Um, I don't smell green tea. I don't smell ginger. I don't smell peach. I do smell a little jasmine, 
and that's just because I'm a Jasmine fan, so I know exactly what it smells like. And I do smell apple on the spray, like on the opening, I smell apple. But on the dry down, again, all I get are those base notes, the marshmallow, the vanilla, and the benzoin. That's all I get. Like that's literally, and it's done so beautifully. This is the sexy, one of the sexiest gourmands. You know what? I'm gonna just say it. This is the sexiest, most unique gourmand I own. All the perfumes that I own, this is definitely the sexiest, most attention getting, unique, sensual, feminine gourmand that I own. Let me give you a story on this. I'm gonna give you a story on this so you know it's real. I wore this to the grocery store. Don't judge me. I wore this to the grocery store. Now I had it layered on top of something else. I will tell you what it is. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will make a video because it is my signature scent. But I wore, I was wearing this other perfume and I just felt like it faded a little bit. I was just gonna freshen up before I went to the store. I just reached for this to spray on top of what I was wearing because I didn't really think it would come through like that. I had been wearing it all day and I said, you know what, I'm gonna just spray this on top and go about my business. I went to the grocery store. I will not forget this. I was getting rice. I was getting jasmine rice. And I'm not paying attention to nobody. One thing my family has always told me is that I have this tunnel vision. When I'm like going somewhere, I'm walking straight to it. I'm not looking at anybody around me or nothing. Like my mom would tell me all the time, did you see that guy looking at you? And I'd be like, no, I didn't. You know, not because I'm just, I'm being vain or anything like that. It's just literally, I don't think about things that way. And I hate like attention. I don't like when people like stare at me and stuff like that. I don't get I don't get any kind of pleasure from that like a lot of girls do. A lot of girls might be like, oh, I look cute and they looking and this person looking. I'm not like that. I'm like, please don't look at me, please. <laughs> That's me, right? So I'm tunnel vision. I'm in the store. I'm grabbing a couple things that I need. And I'm in this aisle with the rice. And it's probably like seven people in the aisle, like spread down. I walk down, grab the rice. There's like this guy and this couple here on the right side. I don't really remember everybody in the aisle, but I do remember being between two sets of people. It was like a guy here and then a guy next to him and then this couple on this side. I just reach up, grab the rice, and I walk out of the aisle. Not thinking nothing of it. I go to the dairy section to go get my oat milk when i'm standing in front of the oat milk all of a sudden i hear this damn the oat milk put it down and i'm looking like hey, what's going on this guy says do you know what just happened back there at the like in that aisle and i was like no what happened like i'm thinking something's wrong something like i don't know somebody fell somebody got in a fight I don't know. I just left the aisle and I really wasn't thinking about nobody in the aisle. I wasn't thinking the fact that I was just in the aisle. I just came to get my rice, my oat milk, things that I need. He said, we were all just talking about how good you smell. As soon as you left the aisle, we all looked at each other like, yo, was it that girl that's smelling like that? And he said, we literally all just unanimously decided together that you smell so good and that I was gonna come and tell you how good you just smell and we all just had a moment of bonding coming to the conclusion you smell really good and I was like oh. first of all I was relieved because I'm like people approach me and stuff like that I don't know 
what they're coming with is sometimes scary, especially in this city. You don't know what you're gonna hear. You don't know how someone's coming up with certain things to tell you, to ask you, you just don't know. So I was relieved, but I just thought it was really nice. I was like, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. He's like, no, like, I got, I, there's no way I can let you walk past me smelling that good and not ask for your number. Everybody in the aisle wanted your number. That's what he said. He said everybody in the aisle wanted your number. But this right here. If you can get your hands on it, get it. I promise you. You're not going to regret it. If you're a gourmand person, you love vanilla. You love like the nutty, woody scents, warm scents, sweet scents, but not like the spun sugar sweet. Like those are cool too. If that's your thing, go ahead, mama. I'm not, I'm, hey. It's just not for me. I don't like them. Some can get away with it when it's like tucked in there. But for the most part, I'm a grown and sexy gourmand type of person. And this is it. So if you want compliments, if you want to be approached, if you want to just meet new people, bond off of you smelling good, get any of these scents. Killian Princess. I'm gonna just call it Princess. Christina Aguilera is just Christina Aguilera. That's the name of this one. Armani C, the OG. OG, I don't need the intense because my my uh, hygiene routine is so intense and my layering routine is so intense that I don't need the intense at all. And Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Get any of those, get all of those. Thank me later. And remember, you cannot forge the signature when it's latest to the scent. Later.